I got into a little lab accident and I'm still making a video. Hardcore. Science Asylum, Nick Lucid here. Polska Pro was wondering, there's an absolute zero, why is there no absolute hot? Very good question, Polska Pro. Let's see what we can do. We saw in the last video, the temperature was the average random kinetic energy per molecule. If you want more detail, go watch that one first. If temperature is kinetic energy, then zero temperature is zero kinetic energy. Absolute zero is literally no motion. Having motion less than none? It, it doesn't even make sense. So zero is the lower limit. By that same reasoning, the higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy there is. Even though the speed of light is the upper speed limit, kinetic energy blows up to infinity at that speed. So there doesn't appear to be an upper limit. That being said, there might be. Sagar Sharma brought up the Planck temperature. It's 2.55 times 10 to the 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1.42 times 10 to the 32 degrees Celsius, or Kelvin for that matter. It's so hot, you could just say 10 to the 32 and call it a day. No unit necessary. That's a one followed by zero, 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 zero. This is 32 zeros. No one can comprehend such numbers. There there are actually many Planck numbers, all of which represent the limits of what we know about physics. But just because we don't understand hotter temperatures, it doesn't mean they don't exist. Luckily, the universe has only been that hot once, when it was very young. So let us know in the comments, what's the hottest you've ever been, in any meaning of the word, wink wink. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.